Turkey has launched a massive cleanup operation both in the country and beyond its borders. It's targeting businesses linked to Fethullah Gulen. Turkey has accused him of organizing the failed coup earlier this month. In Somalia, a key Turkish ally, authorities have taken over a school and a hospital linked to the cleric. CCTV's Abdulaziz Bilo has more from Mogadishu. This is Mogadishu's Deva Hospital, one of the few state-of-the-art private healthcare facilities in the country. It provides life-saving treatment to patients with kidney problems. But following a government directive, the hospital has been evacuated. The city's sole dialysis machine has been turned off, and patients have nowhere to go. All Turkish staff have been ordered to leave the country, and Somali staff are jobless. It's a dark day for Somalia. 113 locals, including doctors, nurses, secretaries and security guards are now unemployed. This hospital has top quality machines, but we've been forced to shut them down. The hospital and this school are run by the Nile Academy, a project that's linked to US-based cleric Fethullah Gulen. Turkey maintains he masterminded the failed coup attempt earlier this month. Allegations Gulen has denied. Government forces are now in control of the hospital and the school. The governments of Somalia and Turkey hereby assure Somalis that the healthcare and learning services offered by the Nile Academy will continue uninterrupted. A new management team will be appointed by both governments to implement this directive. Turkey has been a key ally of Somalia in recent years, opening its biggest diplomatic post on the continent in Mogadishu. It's also funded upgrades to major transit hubs and the renovation of roads in the capital. The Somali government has shown its solidarity with Turkey and President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan. But the closure of the school and the hospitals has left many Somalis jobless and many more without access to medical facilities and vital treatment. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CCTV, Mogadishu, Somalia.